A new year, a new version numbering scheme, and a tremendous set of improvements. Let's take a look at what's new in PyCharm 2016.1. Optional type hinting became a focus for Python 3.5, and this new PyCharm update expands on the support in the previous PyCharm release. You can now let PyCharm analyze your code and generate your type annotations based on runtime analysis. First, enable runtime types collection in your project settings. Then, run your code under the debugger. Afterwards, put your cursor on the function you want to annotate and type Alt-Enter for code intentions. Choose Annotate Types and PyCharm generates the type information. Python's PEP 484 spec was updated to show syntax for type hinting that can work in Python 2 and 3. PyCharm 2016.1 supports this new syntax. Docker continues to gain traction, and PyCharm 2016.1 adds important improvements for development workflows. Foremost, we now support Docker Compose. In a project with a Docker file and a Docker Compose YAML file, we can now add a project interpreter based on Docker Compose. PyCharm will generate a project interpreter and configure the required services. After this, all features, such as autocomplete, will be driven by the interpreter in Docker. Also, PyCharm 2016.1 adds much requested support for Docker container settings. Run configurations gain a convenient dialog window for setting port numbers, volume bindings, and environment variables. The PyCharm team has been busy improving the debugger. Foremost, PyCharm's debugger is now much faster with code improvements and Cython compiled speedups. Also, debugging a process run outside of PyCharm is now easier with a simplified attached to process. For instance, let's run a Python game, starting it from a terminal. In PyCharm, we connect to that process with run attached to local process. We will set a breakpoint to stop execution when pressing the space key. PyCharm 2016.1 also adds improvements for stepping over code with filters and stepping over yield and await statements. PyCharm's Django support has always been a key feature, and this release makes working with Django forms much more productive. For example, if a form model defines a field, PyCharm will autocomplete on it in views. Autocompletion also works in templates. This applies to other PyCharm features as well, type inference, navigation, refactoring, find usage, etc. For example, in a template, navigate directly to the field in the model. Finally, PyCharm recognizes form sets and can recognize types of forms when iterating over the forms in the form set. PyCharm 2016.1 brings a number of helpful improvements for Python development. First, this release now brings full support for test running with Tox. You can right-click on a tox.ini files tab to test, giving output from the test when run under each Python version in the tox.ini file. Also helpful for code targeting multiple Python versions, PyCharm has improved its code compatibility settings and warnings. PyCharm code folding can now be used for code blocks collection literals, and multi-line comments. If you work with private package repositories using tools such as DevPy, PyCharm can now recognize alternate repository locations. And one cool addition, quickly surround code statements with an expression using postfix code completion. For example, wrap a statement with an if not none by adding dot if in n. PyCharm isn't just for Python. Its IntelliJ Foundations inherit WebStorm's HTML, CSS, and JS features, and the new release brings a long list of great improvements. TypeScript and ES6 are getting popular, and PyCharm has many new productivity improvements for them. Working with imports is a breeze. Use a module and let PyCharm 2016.1 import it for you, combining into one import statement when possible. PyCharm will also indicate unused imports. Then, Optimize Imports will remove the unused import. Many other ES6 and TypeScript improvements as well. Extract methods and fields, convert to ES6 template strings, and other new refactorings and intentions. Angular 2 support also gets many new improvements in this release, supporting the latest syntax, autocompletion and navigation of components and templates, and more. The new CSS variable specification is supported, and you can autocomplete CSS class names and IDs from the HTML in your project. And that's not all. 
remote run support for Node.js, and debug support for web workers and service workers. Finally, the new release uses the latest improvements to the underlying IntelliJ platform. First, the terminal adds some productivity features, including Command F to find text in the window. The terminal also supports Alt Backspace for deleting symbols to the left of the caret position, and Control Left or Right to move the caret left or right of the current word. For database tools, PyCharm 2016.1 brings support for table truncation, table and column comments, PostgreSQL 9.5 support, and support for custom types in SQL Server. Support for Git versioning is improved with rebase and rename actions, work tree support, byword diffs, and show usages. This new release is more than just a numbering change. With better type hinting, Docker Compose, debugger speedups, Django Forms, Tox support, web development features, and platform updates, PyCharm 2016.1 brings a big step forward in Python development productivity.